Hello, and welcome to The Stuffed Pot. My name is Laura, and I am the owner of the small shop called thestuffedpot.com, where I crochet plants and other things that you find in nature. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my infamous snake plant. Um, you can find several snake plant tutorials um, on YouTube. There are several different ways to make them. Today, I will be using three colors of yarn. I'm gonna be using my green for the inside, my brown for the soil, and then I've got this lovely little yellowish green that I'm gonna use for my edging color. You can use any color combination you want, or if you want a single color, I'll show you how you just basically work the edge with this same color. The edge is what we're gonna put wire in our snake plant so that we can um, get those leaves to stand up nice and tall and also you can kind of shape them if you want to. I use a 20 gauge jewelry wire. I get this from any craft store in the jewelry section. It is very easy and bendable. I have a giant ball nest here that I'm going to be using. <laughs> I've been working off of this ball for a while. Um, but you can see it's really easy. It's thin enough that it's going to hide inside the yarn. So you'll be learning how to use wire in your crochet as well on this project. So you're going to need a hook. I've got a size G, which is a 4.25 millimeter hook. Um, this is a little smaller than the recommended hook size for worsted weight yarn, but I use this smaller hook because I like a little bit of a tighter stitch in my work. Um, I'm also gonna be working in a three inch pot today. Um, I will show you how to make the soil and size it uh, for different size pots um, so that you can kind of gauge that. It's super easy. All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make six leaves and each leaf is going to be uh, slightly different in size. That way they're all not like, you know, super uniform. We want them all to be a little bit adjusted. So we're gonna do one leaf in 20 chains, one leaf in 18 chains, one leaf in 15 chains, one leaf in 12, uh, another in 11 and 10. So we're just gonna kind of step those down just a little bit. So let's work on our largest leaf, which is 20 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you can definitely adjust this and make it your own if you want more tall ones and less little ones. Um, you can, it's a pretty simple pattern. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working with a slip stitch, a single crochet, a half double crochet, and then double crochets. And essentially we're gonna work the smallest ones and then we're gonna step up into the bigger ones to um, broaden out our leaf. And that's gonna to make a nice point. Then we're gonna chain and we're gonna turn and work those same number down. So we're gonna mirror the edges. If you're familiar with my other leaf tutorials um, where I kind of shape it a little differently, this is a leaf that is mirrored on both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, in my written um, pattern that you can buy online for this plant, I'm just really not that specific. I mean, I'm pretty suspicious, <laughs> sorry, specific about the start of it. Um, but you can really make that. If you want it to be more pointy, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do more smaller stitches and then you're gonna graduate later. You're gonna, if you want it to be, you know, go to straight super broad, then you're just gonna do a couple of smaller stitches and then go straight to your double crochets. Um, you can adjust that to however you want your relief to look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with three slip stitches. I think this is the way that I have it in the pattern written. Uh, you can purchase my written patterns on my store, my website as well. So I'm gonna do three slip stitches. I'm gonna do two single crochets. And I'm working right into the side of this chain. This chain I call the spine of your leaf. So when you see my written patterns, you're gonna see me refer to this as the spine. 
Um, the reason I re refer to it as the spine is because sometimes when we come back up here, I'm gonna refer to chains that are in this spine and I wanna be specific that we're working with the chain in the spine. Um, like when we get to the tip, I work in that turn chain in the spine. And when I get down here, I work into this first chain. Um, so we did two single crochets. Now we're gonna do two half doubles. And now I'm going to do double crochets all the way down the rest of the way. So that is one, oops, I did a half double, didn't I? Sorry. Double crochet all the way down. Now this number is gonna vary depending on your the length of your leaf that you went with. Um, I, I think it's a general good rule to start the same way and then just, in my pattern, I, I pretty much just say go to the end of your leaf with a double crochet. We're not gonna taper it down or anything. There's really no need to. Um, we're just gonna get all the way down There we go. So we've gotten to the end of our um, leaf. This is one side. And like I said, if you want it to continue to be more pointy or if you want it to be more broad up here, then you can adjust the height of your stitch by um, doing less single crochets or more single crochets. Um, just use those uh, stitches and their height to um, adjust your shape. When you get to the end, you're gonna chain two. You're gonna chain two on the end and then we're gonna anchor right here into this first chain on our spine with a slip stitch, okay? And then we're gonna chain two again. Now I'm gonna work this tail in, uh, I don't need to, Never mind. I forgot. The In these types of plants, the base of this gets stuck down in the soil. You're never gonna see it again. So you can just leave those tails hanging out there in the in the bottom. Um, we're gonna do double crochets all the way down. Now I didn't count my double crochets. You can count them and make sure you do equal number. I'm not that particular on how many I do. If it looks right, it looks right. Usually what I do is I get up here and I just kind of stop and check. Um, again, it's gonna depend on the size of the leaf you're currently working on. So I've got a double crochet here and here. My double crochets go all the way up to, let's see, we did three slip stitches, two singles, two half doubles. So my double crochets go to here. Whoops, speared my yarn. Right there this last double crochet and then I'm gonna go ahead and step it down with a hat two half doubles sorry two singles and then the rest I'm gonna slip stitch down now remember that when we make leaves around here we like to make sure they have a nice point so I'm gonna go into this last chain on my spine that was the turn chain. I'm gonna go into that with a slip stitch like that. And that's gonna close off and point nicely. And then I'm gonna cut my yarn kind of long. I'm gonna weave it all the way down to the end. So I'm gonna trail that off, uh, make sure my tail is long enough to at least get down to the bottom. So I can hide it down there. I don't wanna poke it out of my leaf. All right, so here's the first leaf. And we're just going to, you can make it shorter and work it, cut it off in the middle of the leaf, which is fine if you're really good at weaving ends. I hate weaving ends. I'm not great at it. It's probably the most tedious thing I do crocheting. I don't like it. Um, OK, 
can usually get right into those stitches right there. Get it all the way down nice and hidden. Don't pull too tight. You'll cinch up your leaf. You don't want that. So when you get down here, I just tug bottom of the leaf and the top of the leaf and let that tail stretch back in there. There's our leaf. So we did one side, almost looks like a bottle, doesn't it? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the wire. We're gonna make all of these leaves in this video. So just to kind of skip it around so that you guys can um, skip around in the video if you want. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and edge this and show you guys how we do the wire. And then we'll start back over with a new leaf. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna measure it a little longer than your leaf, okay? Oh, I forgot my wire cutting scissors, crud. Um, I have extra scissors that I cut my wire with, but don't look, I'm gonna use my trimming scissors. This is a really, um, <laughs> just cause I don't wanna get back up and go get them. This is a really, really thin and pliable uh, wire, so, um, I would never use my fabric scissors on it, but these are just my little tiny yarn snipping scissors. Okay, now we're gonna take our the edge, our edging color, whatever color you choose um, to do your edge with. I'm gonna feed myself some out because this has no center pull, so I'm gonna feed that out and set it there. All right, start with your slip knot, put it on your hook. We're gonna turn it and work it this way first. Now, when you're working with wire, it takes a little bit of coordination, I apologize. You're gonna find yourself going, Ur. Um When you're working with wire and you wanna secure wire onto something, you're gonna have to use a single crochet stitch or higher. It's going to be that second yarn over or yarn under that you do that is going to anchor it. Therefore, a slip stitch is not gonna work. It's also good to do a single crochet or higher because there's more yarn to cover it with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this wire right along my stitches, okay? Almost like I would when I'm weaving in a tail. Um, it's exactly like weaving in a tail. So I'm gonna grab this, see here? I'm gonna grab this. See my, my yarn is going over the wire here. And I'm gonna grab my yarn and I'm gonna pull through, okay? I'm doing a single crochet. You see how this stitch right here is not quite securing my wire yet? That's because I need this second yarn over. The second yarn over is what's going to pull it and secure it through. So we did that single crochet. Now we're gonna do another one. And we're just going down. You might wanna make sure this is pulled down quite a bit. You can always adjust it when you get down later, but you don't want this to slip out. You'll not get it back in. You'll have to frog your work and start over. That wire will not feed through at all. <laughs> Pokes and snags. All right, here we go. You guys getting this? Easy peasy, right? Just takes a little bit of coordination to hold that wire along with the we're just going right up the edge all right now we're kind of to the tip we got to adjust here and slide around so we can get this all the way up i'm going to go ahead and pinch that make it a little more narrow to match my leaf Okay, I'm gonna keep going with the single crochet. All right, now we're at the top of our leaf. There's one more stitch right there I kinda wanna go through. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna throw, see that turn stitch that we pointed into? It's right there, it's kind of makes a little hole right there. I'm gonna put two single crochets in there 
just because I want to turn around this nicely. I don't want a tight um, tip because then the wire will poke out and we don't want that. Um, holding it this way when you're going this way is a little harder because this stuff pokes you in the hand. So you got to kind of figure out what's more comfortable. Okay, so we're going to keep going all the way down the other side. Still with our single crochet stitch. Oh, I remember what I was gonna do while I was doing this, but oh well, I'm not gonna stop and start it now. Um, supposed to be uploading my live tutorials onto YouTube today. If you guys join my TikTok account, follow my TikTok channel, I do live tutorials on new projects. Um, some of those projects will make it to the, um, make, make it to getting their own tutorial, but most of the time I just work those out in our TikTok lives. They're a very fun place to be. We all share our tips on crocheting, talk about basic crocheting, um, share our our thoughts and ideas about different things. Um, it's a really fun, really chill Zen place to stay. Okay, here's our leaf and now we've got our wire in it. I did cut it just a little too long. So um, I don't need this tail to be long. I'm not gonna do anything with it. It's literally gonna stay here. I'm not gonna weave it in. I'm gonna not weave in any of these tails. They're just gonna hang out here, okay? So now that you have your wire in your leaf, that's gonna stand up just really nice in our pot. So I'm gonna set this here and I'm gonna make another leaf. Okay, so we did this leaf in 20 chains. I'm gonna do another one in 18 chains. So if you need to watch the leaf again, here we go. 18, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, there we go, 18 chains. Slip stitch three down. Single crochet two. Half double crochet two. And then triple, I mean, double crochet all the way down the rest. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had a yawn. <laughs> it's really hot today and it's making everybody sleepy as heck. Okay, now we're at the end. We're gonna chain two to go up. This is gonna allow us to get to the other side. We're gonna slip stitch that into the first stitch of the chain chain two to go up. We don't need to tuck that tail in. All right, we're gonna go into this first stitch, second stitch, third stitch, Okay, this is where I stopped with my double crochet, so now I'm gonna do three, two half doubles, two, nope, I get to do one more double crochet, sorry. Two half doubles, two singles, three slip stitches. Two half doubles, two singles, three slip stitch. 
that's how he started going to keep it mirrored on each side now to give us our point we're going to do one slip stitch into this eighth or, i'm sorry it's not eight i'm thinking of my other leaves into this 18th on this one it's an 18th chain the turn stitch of the original chain spine i just cut that way too short i don't think we're going to make it to the end i wasn't paying attention <laughs> we're gonna well maybe barely okay probably not but it'll be fine it'll be fine i wasn't paying attention okay let's weave this in get it down there no one can see not going to make it to the bottom but that's fine we'll just leave it here and cut it out cut it off no big deal okay let's do our edging again so we're going to start with our leaf we are going to cut our wire sorry i'm untangling this wire here so i can use the rest of this ball we might use the rest of this wire today and then I can start with my new one. The thing is, is when you undo these, they tend to spring out and it's always a mess. All right, so I'm gonna get to about here and I'm gonna measure it out the length, cut it. I hate using my scissors for that, but it'll be fine. It'll all be okay. Um, I'm going to evenly space this and bring it a point. It's okay if you have these little kinks in it like I do because my, my wire is a mess, but uh, it'll be fine. It'll all be okay. So you're going to measure your wire to the length and then some, a little bit longer. And then grab your edging color again. Start with your slip knot. Okay, now here we go. Let's start this. Once it gets started, it's pretty easy. It's getting this started. Uh, there we go. Single crochet all the way down. Almost lost my wire there. All right, now remember when we get to the tip of this, we're gonna put two single crochets right here into the top of this. You could probably put three if you really wanted it to be thick. I might actually put three in this one. Um, I don't like that wire to point out on the tip. It drives me crazy. All right. Just gonna make my way down the rest of it. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you guys are getting this down and you wanna um, 
fast forward to where I make the, sto the soil and assemble a plant, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and repeat the next four leaves. Okay, here's our other leaf. If you'll notice, they're just a smidge shorter than each other. Um, this was 20 and that one was 18. And now we're gonna do one that's 15. Start with our center color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The fun part about doing the big ones first is that these start going quicker and quicker. We're going to do three slip stitches down, two single crochet, or yeah, two single crochets, two half double crochets. And then the rest of them are going to be double crochets. Yeah, get up there. Oh my goodness. Made me drop. Okay, now we're going to chain two to turn. We're going to end that side, chain two, and start the other side. Ah, can't get it. Let's see, two, two, and three. Okay, yep, we're ready to step down. So we're gonna do two half doubles, two singles, and three slip stitches. Now, we're gonna slip stitch to point off our leaf into that original turn chain on our chain spine. You're going to pull it, cut this off long enough to where you can weave it down all the way to the bottom. Again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. That's just a personal pre preference of mine. You can tuck it in anywhere you like. All right, we're to the end. Now we're going to measure our wire. Okay, we're going to measure this to the length of our leaf. To shape this just because it's all crazy and out of control. All right. And let's get our edging yarn. I'm going to pull out a little bit of slack. All right.
Okay, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna pick up this last stitch on our leaf and we're just gonna start there. Single crochet all the way down to hold our wire in. Wire works really good for things that you want to be able to shape. Like if you were making a bunny and you wanted to shape the ears or a puppy dog um, or hold up. So I also use wire when I do um, my mushroom clusters. I use the wire in the stem and that allows it to stand up. Um, if you're doing something pretty heavy, you might want to use a thicker wire. But I find for my little mushrooms, this 20 gauge is just fine. There's our third leaf. I'm gonna look here real quick because I forgot what my next number is. My next chain for my next leaf. 12. So we've done 20, 18, 15. Now we're doing a leaf of 12 chains long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Go three slip stitches down, two single crochets, two half doubles. And the rest will be double crochets. Oops. In my written pattern, I do have the numbers for these all calculated out. And like I said, it does not have to be perfect. Unless you need it to be. All right. Why did I weave in that tail? <laughs> mm. It's just habit, isn't it? There it is. Let's pull it out. We don't need that up there. Okay, let's move this one down to the other end to meet it.
All right, got that one done. Now let's do the edging, get our wire. yarn We're almost to the other end of this leaf. We've got two more leaves to go. They're shorter, so they're gonna go pretty quick. Like I said, you're more than welcome to fast forward to the soil part where we get down to putting the plant together. those. Let's do the next one. See that one was 12. And this one's going to be 11. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, two single crochets, two half double crochets, and then the rest are double crochets. Chain two to turn and end that side. Chain two to start the next side. Two half doubles, single, and three slip stitches. Slip stitch into that um, last turn chain. Cut our yarn off. Pull it through. If you would like to find me outside of YouTube, I am on TikTok and Instagram. The Stuffed Pot, all one word, is my name on both places. Um, if you find one of those, you can find my link tree, which has links to all my other places. It has a link to my store, my YouTube, my TikTok, my Instagram. I also have a tip jar on there. If you guys find any value in these tutorials and you'd like to uh, help support me bringing them to you, then that would be much appreciated. If not, I always love your subscribes, your likes, your follows, your comments, everything. All of that helps support my channel, helps get it out there. So go spread the love, I love it. Let's me know that you guys appreciate me doing this and that I can keep doing it more. 
if you don't like crocheting at all and you just want to buy my plants, you can do that too on the website. But if you're here, you probably enjoy crocheting. So you can always buy the written patterns or you can stay here and learn in the tutorials. But please, please, please hit that like button so that YouTube knows you like me too. <laughs> two on the top so I can turn evenly hold on back out because I snagged that yarn split it okay oops the end. Pull it tight. There's second to the last leaf. Look at those beautiful leaves we've got. Last one. Ten chains. It's gonna go super quick. Let's do it, do it, do it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We are going to slip stitch three. We are going to chain two. We are going to half double two. And we'll, oh. And it looks like we're gonna be double crocheting two as well for our last little tiny inside leaf. Chain two to get to the other side. Chain two again. Oop, I don't want to leave in that tail. Two doubles, two half doubles, two singles, and three slip stitches. I always do three slip stitches because it just gives you a nice point, and these are pointy leaves. Um, All right, here we go. Next up is gonna be the soil. Soil is very easy to make. If you can do a half double crochet foundation stitch, then do that um, 45 times. 45 half double crochets. If not, we're gonna work a 45 chain and then we're gonna do 45 half double crochets back onto that chain. Um, that's going to give us a nice, what I call is a soil ribbon and that we are going to wrap around the base of these leaves and it's going to give us a nice secure hold around our leaf while also looking like soil and it's going to fit nicely into our pot. Oops, I dropped my wire. Good thing I'm done. Um, the 45 stitches is measured for the three inch pot that I have. Um, and for most three inch pots. If you have a bigger pot, you may want to um, make it longer so it'll go around one more time. The good thing about doing the soil ribbon is that if you make it and then you fit it to your pot after you wrap it around and you find that it's um, not quite long enough and you need more, you could just make another one and just keep wrapping it around because you're going to glue it when you wrap it around. We're going to set that with hot glue here in a minute. If you noticed in our instructions, it said we need a hot glue gun. Um, that is optional. You can't always sew these together with yarn and a needle. So if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can always just get a really long piece of yarn, grab your yarn needle, and just sew everything together. 
completely doable. All right, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna do one, two stitches, and then we're gonna work down the other side and then we will be finished with our leaves. This is gonna be a super quick assembly part. So, uh, because it doesn't take hardly any time at all to make the soil and wrap it around. I'm gonna have to go drink something with a little pick-me-up in it, like a coffee or a, maybe I should go and get an ice latte. Sounds really nice. Okay, last leaf. So here's our leaves. Now essentially what we're gonna do to join our leaves, we're gonna give these wires a quick twist so that they stay in place and out of the way. Don't want them coming out. Not that I think they would because these are gonna get nice and securely held down into our pot. But I think it just, I don't know. Settles my anxiety, I guess. <laughs> so we're just gonna twist all of these. Now, when we wrap these together, we're gonna wrap them facing inward. Um, if you wanna face them outward, you can. Depends on which side of the leaf you wanna see um, on the outside. Um, we're gonna start with the small leaves first on the inside, and the larger leaves are gonna go on the outside. And we are gonna secure these to each other with hot glue. Like I said, if you wanna get a long piece of yarn and um, sew these together, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, let's get all of these here in a row. Let me do it this way. I gotta take a quick picture for my pattern. I always screenshot my pictures out of my pattern um, <laughs> off my video. Um, Cause this is, I don't know. It's just how I do. I forget which one of those was the smallest. Okay, here they are. Ta-da! Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start assembling them with the middles. And we're just gonna kind of wrap these over like this. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue gun, handy dandy glue gun. I'm gonna put just a tiny dot there and a tiny dot there. And then I'm going to just wrap this around the edges like that. Don't squeeze too tight. That glue will come out of that between your stitches and it hurts. So you can shape those like that. Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two larger leaves on each side of that little, look, it looks like a rosebud. Um, so I'm gonna put a dab there and a dab there, and that's gonna hold this leaf off on, I mean, sorry. And I'm bundling all of these facing inwards. You can face them outwards if you want. It probably would look better with them faced outwards, wouldn't it? now that I'm thinking about it, but that's all right. Okay, so we've got these three. Now I've got three um, of the larger leaves, and I'm just going to keep overlapping them over the connections of the other two so they can be nice and staggered. the last one on. This is how it looks. We're going to set this aside and make our soil real quick. Let that dry for a sec. 
So we're gonna take our soil color and we're gonna chain 45 for our three inch pot. If you have a smaller pot, you might wanna do about 10 less. If you have a larger pot, you might wanna do about 10 more. Or more, more, if it's way more than three inches bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, oops. 44, 45. Okay, now we're gonna do half double crochets back all the way down. Like I said, if you are familiar with a half double crochet foundation stitch, you can definitely do those. Just do 45 of them or 44, uh, whichever. Um, and that's what that's gonna do is that's gonna create us this nice ribbon here. Whoop. And that's gonna allow us to wrap the bottom of our snake plant and edge it off nicely so that we can put it in the pot. So you'll notice that when you're making this, the back side of the ribbon kind of curves out and the, in the front side kind of curves in. When we put it on the plant, we're going to glue it with the back side to the plant so that um, when, see how this top stitch kind of faces out on the front? What that's going to do is that's going to sit in your pot just like that and it's going to look really nice. Uh, if you try to do it the other way, it's going to hide that top stitch down there. It's going to look a little funny. So I like to glue this in with the back of the ribbon facing the plant. Almost there. Da, 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 Sorry, I know you don't want to hear me sing or doodle with my brain. Okay, last stitch. You don't need to cut these off. You don't need to weave the. I mean, you need to cut them off, but not to any certain length, and you don't need to weave them in. Just pull them tight. Okay, now here we go, putting the plant in, final steps. Again, remember I said we're gonna use the back side of this. So let's grab our glue gun. We're gonna run a strip of glue down this way. And then we are just going to place it at the very base. Oh, it's Saturday in Oklahoma, tornado sirens are going off. I forgot it's Saturday. Um. Don't push on that too hard because it will burn you. Glue, hot glue is hot. All right, now we're gonna continue wrapping this around. I'm gonna put glue here. Now when I wrap it around, I'm gonna make sure I evenly wrap it over this because I just, I'm going for depth here. So I wanna make sure it's wrapping over itself so that I can widen my base. That's what's gonna allow for it to fit in the pot real nice. Just wrap it nice and even all the way around. Add a little bit of glue here. Uh, 
All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim up some of this um, mess down here because I don't want it to get away when I'm gluing it into the pot. You don't have to glue yours into your pot. I'm going to glue mine in just because uh, when I sell these, I sell a finished product and I don't like it to come out and everyone sees all this mess down here. Um, but you don't have to glue it to yours if you're making it for yourself. Um, I'm just going to kind of turn some of these around. Didn't really matter. All right, let's dry fit it to our pot. So we're going to take our little pot here. Whoops. And we are going to make sure it fits. Oh, do you hear that metal scratch in that pot? I apologize. I'm going to bend that around so you can't um, hear it. All right, we're going to dry fit this. It's this one right here. There we go. And we're going to glue it. I glue mine. Like I said, I glue mine down inside. I'll grab an extra glue because sometimes I, rush, I run out and going around this. Now, I'm not going to glue all the way up here to the edge. I'm going to glue right inside the edge. I don't want any glue spilling out and getting over. Sorry, I tried to work quickly because this stuff uh, dries fast. So then I'm just going to push it with my fingers around on the dirt. I'm going to push it down in so that I'm, I know that it's getting into the glue. And voila, there's your snake plant. You can bend the leaves. Look, it looks like corn. <laughs> or you can keep them all up and straight. You can bring them all out like this. Uh, really play around with it. Sorry, I got some glue webs here. There you go. Very nice. Thank you for joining me today. That's the end of our tutorial. Um, please go and like and subscribe to my channel. Please go and find my Instagram um, and my TikTok, uh, The Stuffed Pot. Uh, my store is thestuffedpot.com. Um, please go and follow all of those. That way you can stay updated on new projects new products, patterns, all of those great things. I appreciate you coming and joining. As always, comment me if you have any questions. Um, I hope to see you guys on a TikTok Live at some point. Um, I'm usually there in the mornings if I can be. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.